Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a quick little video. This is going to be my last video until after my retreat, after my company and all. So I'm going to have a little break. So I hope you'll go over and watch some older videos and stuff while, while I'm gone. And then I'll be back as soon as I can. So, um... I didn't bring my Hi and Hugs book over here, so let me just say hi and hugs to all the gals that are coming to the retreat. There's 11 of them. I don't know if I can name them off for right now, but hi and hugs to them. Be safe on the way over to the retreat. Okay, so let's play a little bit. Um, just oddly enough, this arrived yesterday. This is the newest Tim Holtz um line of colors and it's uncharted mariner i'm really excited for this one i'll be playing with a few more things from this um for sure because i i think this is going to be a really fun color so i wanted to show you that i um i got mine at only one life creations uh, I think I got it on their online store. They also have a Etsy, but um, I get an email from their online store. And so that's how I knew this was coming out. So I, um, I'm i opening up the Distress Paint because, you know, I've got those shiny labels. You know, those shiny labels that are driving me crazy. What to do with them? Um even though they did work really well with the alcohol inks. So that was good. I have a feeling this ink will sit on top just like my printer ink did. So I'm not going to waste any of that doing that. No, no, no. So anyway, let's just, let's just do a couple things. I also wanted to try the golden transparent uh, paint on it just to see. So we'll see what we get. Just a couple little, couple little fun um, mixed media Monday things. Am I in camera? Well, I can, I really can't tell from this setup, but <laughs> there you go. Okay, I've got some sponges here. I'm gonna try. Let's try the distress paint and see what happens. I have no idea. Ooh, it goes, it goes nicely. Uh, what do I want to say? Thinned out, kind of? The thing is to see if it's going to, um, if it's going to sit on top or if it's going to soak in or dry or whatever you would want to say. I'm going to, um, we'll let these dry while <laughs> dog's crying. We're going to take in about I don't know, half hour or so we're taking the dog home to his family. So he's seen Mike loading the car and he's all sorts of nervous that we're going to leave him. Nobody. We're taking this trip just for you. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what happens when it dries. Okay. Hope it'll, hope it'll work. Okay, let's do another one. Because I, wa I really want to use these, you know what I mean? So, we'll use... I want to try the, uh, the golden paints as well. Now, which one? I ended up... I think I ended up liking this one the best. So, in terms of having it look like old tape. I do like the shiny because it looks kind of like the cellophane, you know. Ooh, that's enough for a bit. That's going to look good. I mean, that's going to look like old tape if it just will dry on there and stuff. I don't care about those little lines because... It's, you know, it's going to be in pieces. It's not going to be all, all in one sheet. It's going to get cut into stripes. I like the, uh, 
variation of color that this is doing too. You know, from real light to not so light. Okay, well, if that dries, I'm going to like that a lot, I think. Okay, I'm going to set that aside to dry, hopefully. I brought over my uh, alcohol inks just in case, too. Okay, I have another color I'd like to do if that turns out okay, but we don't know yet. Um, okay, the other thing I was thinking of trying is... Some of these Dilution inks, the ink spray, I just don't know if it's going to sit on top. Let's see. It actually says for porous surfaces, which this is not. Okay, so, so much for that idea. Let's see. What else do I have here? Ooh, I wonder what that would do. A little Stamperia cream paste that's... Hmm. Now what I'm thinking is, do I want that? I mean, could I put that like on something? I think that might dry. Um, yeah, what I'm wondering is, let's just go for it. I'm going to go for it. So what I'm going to do, we'll try this, this one more thing here. I think it's going to dry. It seemed like it was. Sorry for jiggling. I'm probably jiggling you. And I apologize, but... The way this camera is set up, there's no, no way to avoid the jiggle. Okay. Okay. So we'll trade these out. This one can dry. This one seems to be drying okay. Because wouldn't it be fun if we could put a stencil? Let's just see. Maybe I'll just use this little stencil since it's on top. This came with the last Mixed Media Minnesota um, kit. This is a little birdie stencil. Oh, the dog is just upset, people. He's just like, what is going on? Okay. I need a knife. I have one in here. Hang on. Yep. Let's just see what happens. Can't know till. So we might have to wait for results until I get back. <laughs> because this isn't going to dry. I don't know what this is going to be like. Oh, look, my fingers are making a mess. I'm not sure it's going to work. So we might have to go. We might have to go totally with the alcohol inks on these. Which is kind of a bummer, to be honest. But. I mean, I ordered some of the other kind that you can do all sorts of things with the, the Avery Clear full sheet labels. Okay, well that, I'm just gonna let that dry and see what happens. Meanwhile, put a little of that on that pretty little draw paper. Okay, well, so much for my ideas. Let's do a little alcohol ink and call it good. <laughs> oh. Well, you just don't know till you try, right? 
yeah, so it's it's just kind of rubbing off. We'll see what happens. I'll set this over here. Okay. Let's do let's do a little alcohol ink and see how that how that goes. Okay, since I'm in a on a blue streak, this is a stream. This is called. I'm gonna use another. Well, I might as well use that other blue one. Okay, let's see what happens. The um, when I used the, I think it was caramel, maybe it did. It did pretty well. It looked like uh, old tape. It did. And I don't know if the alcohol inks just work because they're so um, they dry so quick. I don't know. I'm using the one with the paint in it, so I don't, the sponge with the paint in it, so I don't know. I would probably go ahead and um, stamp on this just because it's pretty plain. I do know that the archival permanent ink did fine on this glossy thing. So, you know, we could just try a couple different colors of this. Let's try a red one. I think I have a cranberry in here. Yep, there it is. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> there it is. A V. Oh, can hear you. Okay, yes, cranberry. I'm going to have ink all over my hands. I did put my um, glove in a bottle on, so hopefully. Okay, let's see what the red's like. Get a new spongy thing. Yeah, I left the digital for 24 hours and it never did it never did uh settle into this. It was Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's turning out pink, which is fine. And I don't mind those splotches because they add interest when it's when it's made into tape. Oop. Just giving her a try. So yeah, mixed media Monday. So this is actually this will be airing. Um, the Monday after my retreat, so my company is here, will be here, um, but I know I won't film while they're here, so let's see. So probably the next video, this is Monday, probably be Thursday or so, so it's not too many days. Okay, well that's kind of cool. I think, again, I would add some stamping to that. But see, like, that's dry already. That's not leaving any sort of, of marks to it. I'm going to do one more with this um, terracotta. I think it might be cool. Uh, let's see. I'll set this over here. Let's do the terracotta, and then we'll, then we'll call it good. But... I wanted to give it a try. We'll we'll see what those painted ones are like too. Do that too. Ooh. That's kind of cool. It's like this will be good for um like a fall journal, I think. So 
so thanks for thanks for like I say watching some older videos and stuff and being patient with my time with the fam and stuff and then with company. Ooh, kind of doing that's kind of a cool texture to it too. And I'm sure that's jiggling you all over the place, sorry. But, but that's kind of a fun one. It's got all sorts of different sort of texture to it, doesn't it? Okay, so let's see what the painted one is like. Let's see if it has. So the very first one we did was this one. Ooh, I think it's going to work. Because it should be, it would be coming up otherwise. It is a little bit, but I think it's drying. So cool. Well, we have three sheets of blue, <laughs> a pink, a yellow, and an orange. So that should that should keep us, right? Yeah, I like these two too. So anyway, there is something I can do with those shiny sheets. So that's a good that's a good thing to know. So I just wanted to come on and and do a little something and tell you that I will see you after the retreat and company. And I hope you all have a great couple uh, first weeks of July. So take care, everyone. Have a grateful day, and I'll just see you when I get back. Bye.